All right, let's do this. So we'll start off by opening Photoshop. Okay, create new document, and let's make it 1280 by 720, which is our HD format here, and hit OK to that. So before doing anything here, I'm gonna scale it down a little bit, and actually to be more sure, uh, to be more precise, I'm gonna scale it down to 20%, and hit OK to that. So now we got our like the resolution that we're going to be working in here. And we're going to, you know, after we've done our drawings, we're going to scale it back up to 1280 by 720. Okay. Let's zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to it's very important here. Let's make a new layer. Let's uh, just call it layer 1 because that's such a beautiful name, standard name right there. All right. And then I'm going to switch to the one pixel brush here or uh, actually not brush but um, it's this pen let's see what it's called here the pencil tool yeah so we got a brush tool and I'm switching to the pencil tool okay just testing it out real quick here looks beautiful alright second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the settings under uh, God, let's see here uh, guides grid and slices and I'm gonna set the uh, grid line to be every one pixels with uh, like yeah okay one subdivision um, and yeah you can play around with these settings to uh, get the grids that you like but I'm just gonna use this and hit OK and let's go to view show grid there we have it and I'm gonna zoom way in here so we can actually draw in this pixel grid here all right. I'm just gonna update here. Okay, so actually, why don't we call this uh, layer face? Because what we'll be making is actually a face. So I'm gonna select a facey color. Uh, da, 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 da. Maybe like a skin tone right here. That's nasty. Okay, let's try this one here. All right. So what I'm gonna do is actually. Just to be a little bit quicker here, I'm going to select my rectangular marquee tool and I'm going to select here. I'm going to press Alt Backspace to fill it with the foreground color. Now I'm just going to zoom out to test if the, the size will be okay. Because bear in mind that we're going to be scaling this up to 1280 by 720 in the end. So just to give you like a, an idea of the size here. All right. But, um, Let's just say that this would be a good size for the face. So I'm going to turn on my grid again here, switch to the eraser tool, and again I have like a one pixel size for the eraser so I can easily go in here and trim some of those edges if I want. But I don't want that. That's just for fun. All right. So let's, uh, the hair, I don't want to make a separate layer for the hair right now. But I could do that if I wanted to, but I don't. So I won't. Uh, let's see what kind of hair color. Maybe some kind of darkish brown. A little bit more saturated there. Okay. And again, I'm going to use the, just to save some time. You know, obviously I could be using my pencil tool and like, draw some hair like this, but I'm just going to use this one here. Make selection. And if you remember, I'll nifty a little trick from before, like Alt Backspace. I'm just going to fill that with the color. Now I'm switching to the pencil tool and I will try and make some kind of funky funky looking hairdo on this guy right here. Uh, maybe something like a little bit elvish. Elvis Lee. Okay. That looks weird. Anyways, this is just to give you an idea of how we're working with this uh, now the cool thing about doing it like this is actually it's kind of easy to draw the objects here this pixel pixel style and again like every one pixel like this when we scale it up to uh, 12 80 by 720 it's going to be one pixel will be like five pixels five by five pixels because uh, that's the scale that we kind of chose to work with in the video um, so yeah maybe that's Maybe that will work. Maybe we should actually trim off the uh, chin here just a little bit. 
and make some kind of neck. Yeah, let's make a neck for him there. Da da, cool. All right, how about a little nose there? All right, be a little bit bigger. Okay, so let's make a separate layer for the eyes. And I'm just gonna choose white for that. Is it white? Yes, it is white. Let's see here. How can we do that? Like this, maybe? Damn, that's scary. But also a little bit funny. And let's make a mouth. Gotta make a separate layer for the mouth. And let's see here. Some kind of red for the lips. Let's let's get make it like a really bright red and we can like, sort of tone it down. No, let's not. Let's make it. Yeah, I know I'm pretty chaotic right now, but let's see here. Maybe this will do. Actually, no, I have a trick here. I'm gonna select just pure black here. Okay. And then Damn. Let's get a little smile on that face. And then I'm gonna actually just tone the opacity down until I get what I want. Yeah, something like that. You can see it's a mouth. All right. And I don't like the look of this. Let's see here, let's play a little bit more around with it. Maybe it's that nose that's sticking out there. I don't know. Let's see what we can do here. Just gonna tweak it a little bit. Just give it a little bit more hair there. I think it's that kind of weird bulge in the hair that's kind of freaking me out. Just gonna remove that. Now that is ugly hair right there. Maybe the mouth should actually have some kind of some kind of reddish. Okay, it's gonna be a girl now. All right, instant sex change operation right here. It's a girl. Kiss me, kiss me. All right, not. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so how about some, how about some nice brown eyes for this girl, for the gal. Crank it up a bit. She's a retard. Oh no, she's looking right at you. And let's uh, add some eyebrows to that. Oh, actually make that in a mouth layer. Make it in the eyes layer. Looking right at you, eyebrows. All right. So we're basically making separate, okay, she's angry. What have you done to deserve such an angry stare? Damn, okie dokie. Let's say we're satisfied with this character right here. I'm not, but let's say we are. Second thing we wanna do is, okay, hey, I got an idea. Not totally done yet. Let's add a little bit of shadow to the uh, let's call it shadow. And I'm gonna clip it to the face layer so I can actually go nuts and it won't not spread out on the white piece of the canvas here. So I'm gonna select black and I'm gonna turn the opacity down on the layer to maybe around 15, 16. And I'm gonna, yeah, and I'm gonna add a little bit of Damn, she's masculine. Anyways, a little bit of a, uh, maybe it should be even lower. Maybe around five, yep. So there, yeah, we gave it a little bit of depth here. Damn, she's freaky. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now we're happy. And now, 
I actually want to make an alt, like a second version of this. So I'm going to group all these, call it girl1. Actually, change my mind again. I'm going to undo that. And let's focus on the mouth here. So I'm going to call this one mouth1. And you will hopefully get the point once I'm done messing around here. So I'll call it mouth1. And then I'm going to just pick the color here. I'm going to actually make a second layer, call it mouth, mouth uh, 2, turn down the opacity on the first mouth layer, and on the mouth 2 layer I'm going to use the first mouth as a reference, but this time I'm going to make it, I'm going to open it up, like so, maybe. So she's actually yelling or screaming something at you. Ah, and let's fill it with a little bit of white, a little bit of sweet loving, and let's see how this looks. <laughs> Damn, she is nasty. All right, that's the. Uh, that's a mouth too, so I'm just going to turn up the opacity for mouth one. Now the point of doing this is because I want it actually to animate like this in After Effects. So by making two different mouths, we can actually in After Effects, once we import it, change between the two. It's pretty cool. So I'm just going to start out by hiding the first mouth here. Okay. Say, let's see here. Okay. So now we're actually ready to scale it up. Scale it up, 720. And here's the important part. You have to select nearest neighbor because if you select another one of these, it's gonna be all blurry. And we don't want that, we want really crisp pixel art. So nearest neighbor, hit okay. And now you can see, turning on this pixel right here, that. Whoops. What was before one pixel has now turned into this was one pixel before, now it's one, two, three, four, five. So five, ten, 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 ten. There's actually a lot of pixels now all of a sudden. Alright, so we're ready to uh, save this document. Gonna hit save on that, just gonna save it on my desktop. Call it Man Girl. Because she's kind of masculine. Freaky. Okay. Okay to that. Okay, I'm just going to close this document. So now what you want to do is open up After Effects. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait a little more. And... Action. Alright. That only took... Uh, a little time, okay. So I'm gonna do a little smart trick here. I'm gonna drag this here into After Effects. Kablam! And we're gonna select Composition Retain Layer Size. And yeah. Hit OK. Double click on this man girl comp. And let's see here. Looking good. Let's animate this. So it looks like she's talking or saying something. So to do that, we can actually throw down some opacity keyframes and let's make them hold keyframes. Zooming in on the timeline here. Let's see. Hide. Show. Hide show, hide show. Let's just test this for a second. It's kind of slow. Open, close. Maybe it should be like the other way around, actually. Maybe it should be closed and then open. Yeah, you talk. Dirty little man girl. You talk right at me. 
Okay, open close, open close. Test this for a second. All right, looking pretty good. Only it should be a lot faster. There are probably more clever ways of doing this, but you know, you get the point. I'm not a script junkie. She's like talking like a duck. So yeah, there you have it. That's basically how the uh, graphics, the uh, graphic elements for the Panorama 9 video were conceived by using the combination of Photoshop and After Effects and a mastermind. All right.